Now we are going to look at CAM plants and also CAM pathway. So what does CAM stands for? CAM stands for Crassulation Acid Metabolism. So for Crassulation Acid Metabolism Pathway or CAM pathway, it is a special carbon fixation pathway and it is a very successful adaptation for plants that live in dry and xeric conditions. So the CAM pathway or the, the term CAM uh, it is uh, uh, come from a plant, the name of a plant family, which is Crassulaceae, which is toad crop plant. There are also other plant families that uh, uses camp pathway. Examples are the cactus family, which is Cactaceae, and also the lily family, Liliaceae, and also orchid family, which is Archidaceae. During night time, Camp plants will open the stomata. So remember, night camp plant will open the stomata. So during this time, carbon dioxide will be incorporated with a carbon dioxide acceptor, which is PEP uh, or P, uh, phosphoenopyruvate, and produces oxaloacetate. The, oxalo the oxaloacetate will be converted into organic acid, and then uh, it is stored in the vacuoles of the uh, plant cell. And then during the time, which is the condition is really hot and to prevent water loss, the stomata of the leaf will be closed. So this is to prevent transpiration. So as a result of the uh, closing of the stomata, carbon dioxide cannot enter into the leaf. But remember, during the night time, the organic acid that was produced uh, and stored in the vacuole will be converted uh, into uh, uh, an organic uh, molecule that will uh, split into carbon dioxide and uh, pyruvate and then uh, the carbon dioxide will be used during the cavit cycle. Okay, so carbon cycle basically will occur during daytime. In this diagram, it shows you the crassulation acid metabolism or CAM pathway. In this diagram, you, you see is a mesophyll cell. Okay. So as you can see from this mesophyll cell, it is divided into two. On this left side, it shows you what happened during night time. On this right side, it shows you what happened during daytime. So during night time, when the stomata is open, carbon dioxide can enter into the leaf. When carbon dioxide enters into the leaf, it will be incorporated with a carbon dioxide acceptor, which is PEP, or phosphoenopyruvate, which is a three carbon compound. And when PEP incorporates carbon dioxide, it will produce a four carbon compound, which is oxaloacetate, and the reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme, we call it as PEP carboxylase. The oxaloacetate will then will be converted into another 4-carbon compound, which is malate. Malate will then enter into the vacuole uh, and it is stored in the vacuole as malic acid. During the daytime, okay, so which uh, the stomata will be closed and no carbon dioxide can enter into the cell. So the malic acid will be converted into malate. And then... The malate, which is a 4-carbon compound, will uh, split uh, into two, which is one is carbon dioxide and another one is pyruvate. Pyruvate is a 3-carbon compound. The pyruvate produced will enter uh, well, during night time. It will be converted into uh, uh, the carbon dioxide receptor, which is PEP. For the carbon dioxide, Carbon dioxide that produced during the daytime will enter into the Calvin cycle, and then uh, it will uh, produce the the Calvin cycle will produce sugar. So the Calvin cycle basically will use the enzyme Rubisco. Now we are going to compare between C4 pathway and also CAM pathway. Basically, CAM pathway and also C4 pathway they are similar because both pathways will undergo carbon fixation twice. So the first carbon fixation will involve carbon dioxide to be incorporated with the first carbon dioxide acceptor, which is PEP. 
So that is for the first carbon fixation. The second carbon fixation, which involves the carbon dioxide to be uh, incorporated with RUBP, and this uh, reaction occurs in the Kelvin cycle. The difference between the CAM pathway and C4 pathway is that for CAM pathway, it involves spatial separation of step. So what does it mean? It means that for the first carbon fixation to occur, it, uh, it occurs in the mesophyll cell. Okay, and for the second carbon fixation, it occurs in the bundle sheath cell. So uh, it means that uh, in the bundle sheath cell, the Kelvin cycle will occur to produce sugar. Okay, so once the sugar is produced in the bundle sheath cell, the sugar will uh, enter into the vein of the leaf to be transported to other parts of the plant. Uh, for camp line, it involves the temporal separation of step. So it means that for the first carbon fixation, it occurs during the night time because during the night time, stomata is open and carbon dioxide can enter into the cell. And then uh, during the night time, it produces oxaloacetate that will be converted into malate and stored in the vacuole. And during the daytime is when the second carbon fixation will occur that involve the Kelvin cycle. The, so the Kelvin cycle will produce sugar. Okay. So, but you have to remember for camp line, both uh, first carbon fixation and uh, second carbon fixation will occur in the same uh, in the same cell, which is mesophyll cell. So uh, carbon dioxide, which is captured during the night time will produce malate that is stored in the vacuole and then during the daytime it will split to form carbon dioxide that enters into the Kelvin cycle. In this diagram as you can see example of C4 plants are sugarcane uh, and uh, an example of camp plant is pineapple. So for C4 plant the first carbon fixation occurs in the mesophyll cell. So this one it involves the PEP as the uh, first carbon dioxide acceptor and PEP carboxylase as the enzyme for the reaction. Okay. And then uh, uh, the uh, second carbon fixation which is uh, involved the Kelvin cycle will occur in the bundle sheath cell. So because Kelvin cycle occur in the bundle sheath cell, the Kelvin cycle produces sugar and the sugar will be transported uh, to other parts of the plant via the vein of the leaf. Okay. So for camp plant, uh, the, the, the carbon fixation first occurs during the night time because during the night time, the stomata is open that allows carbon dioxide to enter into the leaf and produces organic acid, which is the malic acid that is stored uh, in the vacuole. So during the daytime, the, the malic acid will be converted into malate and then malate will, uh, will be split into two compounds which is one is the carbon dioxide, second is the uh, pyruvate. Pyruvate will enter, uh, uh, pyruvate that, uh, that is produced will be converted into PEP again during the night time. And then for the carbon dioxide produced, okay, it will enter into the Kelvin cycle during the daytime to produce sugar. So for camp line, all this reaction, the first and the second carbon fixation occurs within the same cell, which is the mesophyll cell. Please take note and remember that camp line, C4 plant and C3 plants all these plants will eventually use the Kelvin cycle to make sugar from carbon dioxide. The only difference between camp plant and C4 plant compared to C3 plants are for, C, uh, for C4 plant and camp plant, they will undergo carbon fixation twice and they will use two different types of carbon dioxide acceptor and two different enzymes which is PEP carboxylase for the first carbon fixation and for the second carbon fixation that involved during the Kelvin cycle, they will use Rubisco. This ends chapter 6 which is photosynthesis. I hope that you have learned a lot about photosynthesis. If you have any problem regarding your study, make sure that you refer to your lecturer. 
you do your discussion with your friends and remember don't study last minute good luck